Texas A&M's campus is, in one word, busy, with more than 67,000 students traversing it each day. Despite the hustle and bustle, there are still places to relax and unwind, like the gardens on West Campus. Well, it's the most beautiful classroom in Texas, right? Well, being a, being a little facetious there, but I think what we are is we're hitting gem here on campus. Dr. Mike Arnold is a horticulture professor at Texas A&M and director of the gardens. He took us on a tour of his favorite spots. It provides us with a place to study the interactions between the built environment and the natural ecosystems. The garden's mission centers on teaching, especially in its first phase, the seven acre leech teaching gardens. Many of our actual uh, classrooms will on occasion come out and meet when it's, the, the weather is good, you know, and, and they'll come out and be able to relate some of their lectures directly to outdoor activities. But more frequently, uh, we see laboratory groups like the plant materials and some of the landscape uh, design courses, things like that, that will meet every week out, out in the gardens. Another key purpose for Dr. Arnold and his staff is community outreach, which became even more important when the COVID-19 pandemic began. What could you do with your family? What, where could you go? Everything was closed down and all of a sudden the gardens were an opportunity where people could come receive some normalcy in their, their day, get a little break from being uh, cooped up. Soon the gardens became one of the go-to spots for some of life's biggest moments. It turns out that we've become one of the places to come and get your prom pictures, your uh, wedding pictures. We had a five or six week window where every Friday and Saturday it was standing room only in the garden, uh, which was great. We literally had lines three and four deep at some of the prime locations to get pictures. They've also seen several proposals and even a few weddings, all thanks to the beauty of the gardens. For that, Dr. Arnold credits the caretakers, which includes several horticulture students eager to improve their skills. I've always liked plants and just, so for me, it was just having so many beautiful plants just in one place, what, is what drew me to it. I grew up uh, growing lots of different types of ornamental trees, uh, fruit trees, peaches specifically, I've always liked that. Uh, I've always had a thing for biology and life, you know, it's just always been my interest. I really enjoy just having the ability to, you know, take ownership of something on campus that I've been, I've been coming to the gardens of my whole time at A&M. Students will soon have a lot more to work on with a 20 acre second phase of the gardens in the works. As we go forward, we've got uh, several venues that are lumped under uh, children's gardens, a uh, amphitheater that's being developed. We've got plans for a canopy walk. So as you can tell, um, I'm kind of excited. As we wrapped up our visit, I asked Dr. Arnold about his favorite time of year to visit the gardens, and his answer all comes down to building relationships. I think my favorite time's in the fall. We have football games going on and all sorts of uh, students coming back. We've, we've had them all away for the summer long enough that we miss them. And so they, they all come flowing back in. We're here to serve people and to create a connection between them and the environment. But I think when we look back uh, 40, 50 years from now, um, we're gonna say, oh man, that was a magical time. And it's all about people.